What is going on, people? Ryan Winners AC here with your match reaction. Liverpool 2, Arsenal 2. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Right, let's get into it. So, Arsenal start at 11. Literally, no changes. Um, I, I, I thought um, Trossard would have started, but Azu started. No problem with that. Um, Liverpool's team was a bit different, but it was what it was. It was still a strong side. Um, no Nunes starting. Thiago didn't start, who I thought probably would have started. And um, Shorter started ahead of obviously ahead of Nunes. But regardless of that, um, first half, I thought we played well. Um, majority, majority of the first half, of course, before we conceded. But regardless of that, I think we played well. We controlled the game. A good tempo, steady tempo. We took our time in the ball. We imposed our game. Gabriel Martinelli was absolutely fantastic. You know, um, it's all about his goal as well. Arsenal on the break. Um, Van Dijk makes a mare of it, pretty much. Just looked lost. And then the ball just kind of fumbled off him. And then, of course, Martinelli getting in the mix of it. Just taps it home. In front of two Liverpool players, Robertson tries to catch it. It's too late. He's ready one no Arsenal. And to, to, to score early really set the precedence that, okay, Arsenal were here to really, really show that they're, they're serious, you know? I mean, if I'm totally honest with you guys, like, I, I, was, I was so shocked and surprised that we was able to get a goal in, the, in like, the first... I don't know. Under the first ten minutes, I thought, "Wow, that was that's crazy for Arsenal to do that." And then to even have the confidence to go and get a second goal was absolutely fantastic as well. Uh, Gabriel Jesus getting onto the score sheet, a uh, lovely cross from Gabriel Martinelli setting up his Brazilian compatriot. Two 0 You fit yourself, ah, oh, Arsenal. Okay, cool. It's still a long, long time to go. But we seriously need to keep keep on Liverpool. Need to keep on their necks because as soon as Liverpool, the fans, the copheads, the whole stadium start to get rowdy, this is where Liverpool's superpowers start to kick in. And unfortunately, this is what happened. Uh, the little situation between Trent Alexander-Arnold and uh, Granit Xhaka, uh, both players being booked. And that was literally the that was the trigger. That was the trigger. Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Um, since then, Liverpool near towards the break. Get on, get on a good break. They cross the ball in, and you know Gabriel, who was playing, it felt like he was playing left back at a lot of the time throughout the game. He had Salah quiet a lot. A lot of the game, but this time it wasn't meant to be. Ball back stick. Zinchenko and Gabriel. Yeah, Zinchenko played, looked like he was playing centre back in that role, in the centre back position. And the ball's backed in. Salah gets on the end of it. It's 2 1, going into half time. Now, this is when I started to worry because I knew once the crowd was revved up, this was it. And by, and by the end of that first half, we just started playing sloppy. The passing was poor. It just looked like our heads went. It looked like, oh, we didn't plan for Liverpool to score. Of course, you don't plan for any team to score. But this is Anfield. This is Liverpool for crying out loud. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, we just didn't play well. Second half was just absolutely awful. Liverpool were all over us. So many chances that they... they, they um, should have scored. Um, Darwin Nunes, when he came on, Thiago came on, he had a wonderful chance to to make it 2-2. Rams don't come out, make himself big, but again, Nunes has to score from that. Um, I just felt, later on in the game, I just felt Arteta just kind of shot up shot way too early later on in the game. Uh, we had a few... Decent breaks, but again, they just didn't really amount to anything. Um, and this is what I mean by Arteta. I felt like he shot up shot way too early. It kind of reminded me of the United game a bit. Um, 
Because when you think about it, Liverpool play with a high line anyways. We play with a high line. And I felt, well, we conceded. So probably our best bet was to drop deep a little bit, drop the line back quite a bit, a few yards, and try and counter them. So cut the pressure, just hit them on the counter. You know, but we didn't do that. Uh, Arteta took off Erdegaard for Cuvier. He took off Jesus for Trossard, I believe. And Liverpool just went gun ho. Nunes come on, Firmino come on. Firmino loves playing against Arsenal. I think he's up there, Robbie Fowler, in terms of all time top goal scorers for Liverpool against Arsenal. I think he's got 11 now. Uh, before you know it, Defender, defender, defender. Trent gets the ball. Does Zinchenko too easily. Zinchenko got spun. Rips the ball in. Back post. Who is it? Bobby Firmino. 2-2. Two, two. And literally, it was just... Oh, is it going to be one of them days? 2-2. Two, two. Liverpool did anything and everything. We had a little opening as well on the counter-attack. The ball was just not good enough for Saka. There was a few times that we, we were getting into Liverpool's box because, again, they went gone home. They were open. Any side could have taken the three points. But Ramsdale made a massive, massive two saves. There was one save. The box, the ball was whipped in. Open goal. You think Kanote's there. You fix yourself out. This is it. This is it. We threw it away. We bottled it. We bottled it. Nope. Ilaki like just froze. Ramsdale come out and just made a fantastic save. Fantastic save. I just think to myself, wow. And then the ball got rebounded. And then Salah took the shot. Oh, no. We forgot about this. Salah took an excellent shot. Small minor deflection. And Ramsdale made a fantastic save. That save came before the Konate one. Konate one, which could have been the winner. But overall, again, for a neutral, it was probably one of the best games in the league. You've seen um, the Anfield curse still rolls on for Arsenal. Looks like it's 12 years now, officially, since we've lost one at Anfield. Scary times, scary times for Arsenal. But we did get a point. Um, boy, it's going to get tough. City got a game in hand over us. And on top of that, we still have to play them. So it's literally our title to lose as it was at the beginning. But now it's the pressure cooker on. So I just think we have to look back at this game and just think to ourselves, look, in the past we've been run ragged, we've been run over, we've been slapped about very, very easily. On the other hand, you can be like, all right, heads up. We bottled it in terms of the scoreline. But again, this is Liverpool and Anfield. But on another sense, it's one of the things where it's just like, you know what? It is what it is. We just got to move on. And that's my mentality. We just got to move on. You know, it's unfortunate. We had the game there. But this is Anfield. It's, it's no joke. I say it's all the time. It's Anfield. As well as we've been doing this season, that was, this was, this could have been our eighth consecutive win on, in, in, all, in all comps. But, in the prep, sorry. But, fortunately, it just wasn't meant to be. But, yeah, guys. That wraps it up for me. Uh, if I had to give someone a man a match, I would. I say first half, I'd say Martinelli. I think Martinelli was exceptional, getting a goal and getting an assist. I think that's a 14th goal this season. Um, second half, I think he done well, but I think I have to give it to Aaron Ramsdale. He saved us so many times. Nudez, I know it was a poor shot, but we see Aaron Ramsdale can see those type of goals um, sometimes. Um, the shot from Mo Salah, which Salah usually converts, but Ramsdale, again, world-class save, and especially that save at the end, which, I mean, sorry, you got a score from that, Kanote, but again, he didn't, he saved it, and Ramsdale saved us, so I'm going to give it to Ramsdale, 100%. I'm sorry, Martin, Lee, definitely was there, but I think Ramsdale saved us from losing this game, 100%. But that's it, folks. Thanks for checking out this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Whether you agree with me or disagree. And uh, yeah, do Arsenal still have a chance of winning this league title? Let me know in the comment section. But guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Easter Sunday. 
and thank you for checking out this video. Peace.